Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So, in this episode, it should be pretty obvious what I'm doing next because I just defeated that weapon, so the only logical conclusion is that the next thing for me to do is jump off the floating continent. If, unless I expected a shopping segment in the middle for no reason that I can think of, but... Good, not ninjas again. Hopefully no more encounters, someone got hit, but it doesn't really matter. The main thing is that I just don't want Realm to lose her vanish, because that'll be handy. Maybe I should make sure that no one died, even though I'm pretty sure that no one died. Might as well use up my tonics. As long as I'll actually need out of battle healing, which isn't too often anymore. Max. Oh, somebody died, but it was not Realm, so I don't care. Yes, yeah, so basically my strategy through here. I will be using a whole pile of imp, because when you imp the naughties, they will unimp themselves and run away immediately. And obviously that's a pretty decent tactic for dealing with them, because you don't have to take down their, any of their 3000 HP, and I can't use Gao here, because if I use Gao, Celeste will re to level 7 at the end of this segment. She'll be perfectly fine at level 6 until I jump off, and then she'll be level 7. So one thing you might be wondering, if you're thinking ahead somewhat, and about what I'm doing, is why I'm not using these uh, chumpy fights out here to put my cursors in the proper place, with the memory cursor function, before I go in so that I can just hold A or something. Uh, the truth is, Uh, for some reason during the uh, next cutscene, I'm pretty sure it's because of the Gestalt vs. Kefka fight in the middle. All my cursors just get reset to the fight command anyway, so I can't really do that. So my initial plan was to set everyone to imp, just have everyone hold A and imp everything, so I'll probably do something dumb and I'd win all the fights, but no, it's not quite that easy because I don't want to set three different characters to the imp command in the middle of a in the middle of a time segment. That would just be too much time. Oh wow, well, Terra died. That's a pain. So I had to improvise and there. Okay, just wanted to concentrate there. So I had to improvise, and instead of doing that, I, what I'm going to do is give Realm as much speed as possible, which she is the chocobo suit as a possible equipped, which is really handy because it's one of the few like, like pieces of equipment in this game that boosts speed and boosts it by six too, which is almost the maximum you can boost a stat by with a piece of equipment if we exclude the hyper wrist. And that's definitely handy because combined with that in haste I can ensure that she goes relatively quickly and it's kind of useful if she outspeeds the enemies but significantly more useful that she outspeeds the rest of the party because I do not want to have Edgar or Terra's turn come up and then I waste time having them do stuff and I even shoved the iron armor on Terra just to slow her down a bit more. For whatever that's worth, the whole minus two speed, but it's there, might as well do it. It only really matters too much in the first battle. In the later fights, if uh, Realm doesn't outspeed, she'll just use Imp after somebody else uses some sort of physical attack, just like, smack, done. So that's not really much of a big deal. It's just the first fight where it might seriously throw me off if Realm decides to not show up first for some reason. So yeah, I've already had two fails on this segment, which is kind of surprising. The first time around, I, I made a few mistakes and I would have ran out of time anyway, but the big killer was the fact that I forgot to think about reviving Celeste before Narappa, 
and I kind of need her to cast a doom spell on him because there's no other reasonable way to kill that guy. Obviously, he's not going to run away because of a pimp spell. But. So, yeah, I just got owned there. And the other time I tried to. I, I managed to get to him just fine, but then when I casted Doom, I was going too quickly and I forgot to reflect it off one of my own party members. So, Celeste reflected Doom. It missed, thankfully, which it could have been worse, but. It turns out that I'd also loaded an old save with people in the wrong places, like my party members order switched around, so I was unable to tincture her very well. And then Doom whiffed when I finally got it off. It would have been tight for me to actually make it to the end of that anyway, because I only had 30 seconds left when I when I the not enough MP message came up. So it was a good chance that I wouldn't have made it. If, especially if another naughty battle came up, in which case I would have definitely been dead. But if nothing goes wrong, if I don't make any mistakes, there's not a whole lot of bad luck that could really do me in. It's just... Unless they cold dust realm like every single time. I mean, that's the worst case scenario, but... There's not too much bad luck that can come my way, or if they like critical hit realm and kill her, because that could be really bad as well, but I'd probably have to shaft the imping onto Terra, which would uh, make the rest of it really awkward, but it would, even that something like that it would be possible to recover from. I have like 2 minutes and 10 seconds worth of leeway. So, that's quite a bit, but I don't have time for massive mistakes, like accidentally reflecting doom onto my own party members, and then messing up my region. But yeah, Condemned still killed me. It was like, It's kind of like the second timer in the time segment. It's kind of timerception, with that Condemned timer going on top of the other timer, and Realistically, though, the Condemned should not be an issue unless I whiff Doom a whole pile, and... To be fair, I haven't done as much practicing as I probably should have with this segment. I spent so long getting here that I kind of did a half-hearted attempt on the practice attempts, and I spent like 10 minutes on it, so... Alright, getting close. Moment approaches. Here we go. Explosions. Run all the way to the right. Didn't make it all the way to the right, but that's okay. Someone got skewered. There. Set that up properly. And now we'll just leave everyone where they are. Don't touch anything. Rom couldn't have been the one skewered now that I think about it, because she's on banished status, so it would have missed. Cold dust on Realm is a much worse thing that could happen. I have to menu trick there, there's no, uh, I kinda gotta decide on, on the fly whether I wanna do the menu trick or not, whether there's a better way to do it, depending on where I am. Because sometimes there's a better way to tell if I'm out of a fight. Alright, now I'm going right up. Still no uh, good way to tell if I'm out of the fight. Yep, that was Realm, again. Otherwise there only would have been two Curse of Presses. All it did was whiff Realm twice, big whoop. And now that's the second battle of the way, whenever this thing decides to finally... Yep, there we go. See ya. Have fun running off to... Neverland, or the circus, or wherever you naughties go. Hey, uh, sweet, I didn't have to run down and right. That wastes a little bit of time. Perhaps five seconds, so... Because I don't realize when I reach the top if I do it that way. 
us. Okay, this must be a side attack because I can't get a back attack when I have the back guard. Well, that takes that one and makes it a piece of cake. Let's just continue running right. Because this time I know that I don't need the menu trick. Another exploding noise down the bottom. Now I run right and up. That's Realm again. Another side attack. Good thing I have that Gale Hairpin equipped. The Gale Hairpin, the Sprint Shoes, and the Back Guard are a nice combo for this segment. If only I could throw the Charm Bangle on to make it a quartet, but I don't have that for obvious reasons. Alright, this time I want to know if I'm outside of battle. Just so that I don't start misinterpreting to signs. Now I might have made it up to Narappa. Let's double check before I check where I am that died. Only one person got hit. Alright, this is probably Narappa. Out of the way. Okay, good to know. Okay, good. Sent, sent the Doom Cell the right direction this time. Got him. <laughs> Take that. Okay, this time is going pretty well. Run up here. Down and right. Alright, and now we wait. So, uh, that, that went as well as I want, really wanted it to the first two times. Oh well. Well, technically three, though I suppose getting a ninja encounter two seconds into the segment wasn't exactly the worst thing that could happen. It's not the end of the world. In fact, it kind of prevented the end of the world in a way, because I never got to reach Kafka. <laughs> but... This is the end of the world the way it's going right now. So yeah, I've probably got a long time to wait. At least a minute 45, I reckon. Because nothing really went too wrong there. Unless I'm overestimating how long it took me to get to the Imp spell. It doesn't really matter how long it took me to get to the Doom spell, because he was busy casting Condemn the whole time, so... I don't even lose any time over what a regular playthrough would lose, except for the fact that there's no chance of me getting Doom off beforehand, because Realm's definitely going to come up and be in the way. Somebody else is going to have like 50% 50 chance, 50 chance of coming up and getting in the way, so... I don't even have to hold the controller right now. I'm just kind of sitting here speaking to a blindfolded laptop. It's kind of a weird thing. And actually, it's kind of sad when you think about it, sitting alone in your room, speaking to a blindfolded laptop like it's your only friend. It, it's just so sad. So yeah, how am I going to occupy, like, a minute and 45 seconds? Like, what else is there to say, really? Guess I could do some product placement, but that would require someone else to pay me. Too bad I'm not that, quite that big a channel yet that I could uh, do product placement for something in this minute 45 that nobody's using anyway. Whatever. Oh, there we go. Hello, Shadow. How are you doing today? Actually, I don't really care how you're doing. Just give me your equipment back. I don't want to lose it. Thank you very much. Now there's lots of noises going around, and things are about to start exploding, and fecal matter is about to start hitting the metal rotisserie device. 
Yay, chaos. Everybody's dying. Yay. This is the moment I've been waiting for. It only took I, a year and a half, but whatever. I can take my time. This playthrough is kind of something that if I tried to do it all at once, it would take up, like, so much of <laughs> my time. It would pretty much dominate my life for half a year if I wasn't, like, spreading it out a whole bunch. So, it's a good part of the reason why I'm just taking it calmly. Don't have to rush it. <laughs> Also, another reason is that I just don't have the time to do stuff like this all the time, because I have so much time spent doing schoolwork and co-op, it's hard to keep up with everything. So, I'm on my co-op turn right now, which is slightly better in general, but even during the what, I, I mean, ugh, even mixed around the order of my words there. Even during my co-op turn, I've still got to deal with the plague that is Watt PD, which just comes around and uh, continues throwing schoolwork and homework onto the pile even when I'm already doing the co-op, so it's not like I really have summer vacation or anything, so don't have like that good long portion of time to dedicate to making videos or something like that, maybe throwing a whole bunch of videos in reserve or something. But it's okay. Life certainly keeps me busy, I guess. Unlike Sid. I mean, what does he do all day? Catch some fish? <laughs> Sit on an island? Maybe knit something? I don't know. I mean, like, if you can somehow find something to knit with, that kind of doesn't make any sense. You just don't get knitting supplies on a solitary, deserted island. But, well, then again, he is building this raft out of what... I mean, the, you know, what takes him so long with the raft? The, the, he, it's not even like he has to assemble it from driftwood or anything that shows up on the shore. There's plenty of trees on this island. You look at the overworld, there's a few trees. There's like five or six. You'd think he could just cut one down to make a raft out of it. It would take him like three days, and you'd be like, eh, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> but nope. It takes an entire year to build the raft. Might as well start menu tricking now. I don't think there's any decent sound cue in the near future. And I know that Shadow showed up because it makes a different noise. Well, actually, on second thought, it's not really about the noise, it's the fact that. If I jumped off by mistake, the cutscene would start playing. Now, I didn't jump off by mistake, I must have hit wait, because I is in the... I tried to menu trick before that, before I left the jump or wait menu, so I knew I was in that menu. So if I didn't jump off, I had to have selected wait, and... Yeah. Even though I didn't make it to that menu, it would have just been rumbling noises, and I would have died, and I would have been like, what on earth happened, because... <laughs> everything, all the signs point to the fact that I made it, but, oh, there we go. I can stop blabbing and start doing things again. Stop making fun of Sid's very poor raft-making abilities. Exit the house, go to the right, and we should be... There we are. World of Ruin, second half of the game. No turning back now. See you next time.